Hey guys, here's another side video. I'm just going to be unboxing a new kit in this video. As you can see on screen, this is the kit that I built in my last video. It's a smaller kit because I wanted to start off simple, but in this video, I'm gonna show you what a bigger kit looks like. This one that I'm holding up right now is in one to 144th scale. So it's 144 times smaller than the actual thing would be. And the HG that you can see in that rectangle on the box means that it's a high grade, which is a smaller series of kits, which is fantastic if you're new to building Gundam models. So if you want to try one out, I would recommend buying an HG kit. But today we're going to look at a kit known as a Master Grade or an MG. And you can tell by the box, there's a lot more plastic in this kit. It's much bigger than a high grade kit and much more detailed. All Master Grade or MG kits are in 1 to 100 scale. So they're 100 times smaller than the actual thing would be, which means they're almost 50% bigger than a high grade kit. This particular master grade that I have is known as the Unicorn Gundam, which in canon is a really powerful mobile suit, which is the name of the mecha in the show. There are lots of different mobile suits in the Gundam universe, but to give you a simple definition of what the show is about, it's about these giant robots called mobile suits that fight each other, and a Gundam is a special kind of mobile suit that is much more powerful than the normal ones. If you want to know more, there's lots of information out there. The show has been around since 1979, so it's pretty old, but it's still going. It's a huge franchise, very similar to Star Wars, I would say. So check that out if you're interested. I really like it. I'm just a huge sci-fi fan, so all types of sci-fi are good in my opinion. But anyway, this video is just going to be an unboxing video. I'm just going to show you all the runners, all the plastic that they gave us in the box. And I will snap out the plastic from the runners off camera. And I will build this kit with you guys in another video. So look forward to that. Snapping the parts out of the plastic can be pretty boring sometimes. So I won't bother showing you guys that part. I'll just do that myself. But snapping the final parts together is definitely some of the most fun. So I'll definitely do that on camera. If you made it this far into the video, I appreciate you listening to me. I'm just going to let the video play from here on out. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. So anyway, thanks for your support and good luck with your builds. And I'll see you in the next video.